Welcome to Science, Health and Healing Encyclopedia of Children's Health Corps and Ali Academy. I'm Dr. Majid Ali. The subject of this article is Seed, Feed and Weed for Bowel Health, Part 2. In Part 1 of this series, I described the evolution of this approach of seed, feed and weed in the early years of 1980. At that time, this idea evolved from my microscopic studies of colon biopsies and autopsy specimens as a chief pathologist in a major hospital. At that time, I was also collaborating uh, with Dr. Madhava Ramanarayanan of Columbia University in developing the first microelyza test for measuring the presence of antibodies to different types of yeast, candida, aspergillus, mucor, etc. Indeed, he and I were awarded the first United States patent on enzyme technology for developing mold allergy test and food allergy test. Now at that time, it seemed to me that this notion of diagnosing specific infections and then killing off the microbes, this is really not how evolution works. This is not how the natural order works. We coexist. These, we cannot have beautiful roses unless we are willing to accept the fungus in their roots and the earthworms, fungi which take leech minerals, essential minerals from the rocks underneath and turn it into usable form of mineral, organic minerals, so the plant can use, grow and produce beautiful fruits or flowers. So this was more a conceptual model and at that time I started writing papers about bowel ecology. Altered states of bowel ecology was um, a monograph that I published back in 1987 and I expanded and elaborated this basic concept in a series of my books written for the general public beginning with The Butterfly and Lifespan Nutrition uh, the canary and chronic fatigue syndrome, what do lions know about stress, healing miracles and the bite of the gray dog, and so on. I was disappointed in the earlier years because even my well-read, thoughtful colleagues in environmental medicine, after I presented this idea in multiple uh, papers, they were, they seemed to listen to me politely, but they couldn't participate for whatever reason. And I realized perhaps this is too vague and abstract an idea to be of any value. And indeed for about three, four years, I stopped writing about it, stopped giving, uh, stopped giving papers until I started writing the books. And this idea was so powerful that I simply could not resist. Now let's go to June 19th of 2012. Here is a quote from the front page article in the science section of the New York Times. As we learn more about the complex contributions of the trillions of microbes we carry, some scientists want to be more like landscapers, nurturing the good and weeding out the bad. Now I had introduced this expression seed, feed, and weed for bowel health. How many years ago? Let's see. I, I suppose it would be 13 plus 12, more than 25 years earlier. I'm happy that the idea of gut ecology, altered scapes of bowel ecology is finally catching on even though it waited for 25 years. And me, hundreds of millions of people all over the world were needlessly antibioticized by doctors who stubbornly refused to learn anything from rose bushes or corn bushes or oak trees. My point is, the doctors have been stubbornly resisting to the idea of ecological relatedness that even children today can understand. Please look at other segments in this series. This is a crucial concept. See, feed and weed for bowel health, regardless of what the diagnostic label is. In one companion article, I explained the relationship of 
what does the Bible teach us about the heart? And I give you some more windows to this basic idea. Or whether your child has rheumatoid arthritis. And I say, what does rheumatoid arthritis, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, teach us about the heart? At one level, heart disease is an inflammatory process, and that inflammation begins, and the basic mechanisms are rooted in the soil of the contents of the bowel, which is the bowel flora. In another series, I address these issues of the oral cavity flora, the stomach flora, the intestinal flora, and I introduce the term OSIC, O-S-I-C. O for oral cavity flora, S for stomach flora, I for intestinal flora, C for colonic flora. The more programs that you can watch on this encyclopedia, you can of course get copies of the books where I present a large body of data. But this would be an easier introduction on you. Our vision at Children's Health Corps, funded and founded by Talat, my wife and I, some years ago, is to provide authentic, free information for children all over the world, their parents, their teachers, their grandparents. You can join our vision, visit our website, kids123.org. We tell you how you can participate, but I hope that you will consider joining hands with us. Thank you so much. Do join us again.